Hello everyone, Chris Tisdell here again. Thanks for tuning in. It's great to be back. So in this video, I'm going to continue my series on calculus for beginners. And we're going to look at the basic properties of odd and even functions from a real elementary beginner's perspective. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to look at the properties of odd and even functions, and we're going to do a few examples. Now, I might split this over a series of videos, so we might not finish everything or put, do all the examples in this video because I want to keep it short. All right, so we're going to talk about the importance of odd and even functions, useful rules, and how to apply the ideas to examples. Okay, so first of all, a little bit of motivation. So in mathematics, we try to look for patterns. And by identifying patterns, we can predict, make some predictions about how things behave and make things easier for us. Now, one important aspect regarding this is the idea of symmetry. So it's a little bit um, small in this picture, but this picture is actually a bridge going over a, a lake and the bridge is up here and then there's this perfect reflection in the water. And the, the, the top of the water, I guess, would form some sort of line of symmetry there. So it's kind of like a reflection. Okay, so let me show you a, another picture first. So what are odd and even functions? Well, let's start with talking about what an even function is. Okay, so th th there's an algebraic rule up here, but uh, don't worry about that yet. Let me just, just show you a picture first. So we call a function even if there is a reflection of the graph in the vertical y-axis. So you can see the red curve here. If I was to say fold the page over and, and crease it down the y-axis, the two parts of the curve would overlap. They would, they, they would be the, the perfect curve. You can see this green curve here. That's actually the, the curve uh, y equals x squared. Again, if we fold the, the, the page, say, over, the, the two parts of the green curve are going to overlap. Again, um, it's reflected in the in the y-axis. Now the blue curve, if we flip it over, this is not even. Okay, so two of these graphs are even functions, and one of them isn't. So the the graph down here is uh, cosine x, so the red one. The blue graph is y equals x, and the green graph is y equals x squared. Oh, so, uh, okay. Okay. All right, so we can fold the page down the y-axis, and we get the same graph. The blue graph is different. If we fold that over, this part would go up there, and it wouldn't align with this. All right, so there is also an algebraic way of defining an odd function. And here it is here, f of x equals f of negative x. So let's say you start at x equals 0 and you move, I don't know, two points to the right. You should get the same value if you start at the origin at x equals 0 and move two points to the left. Right, so, so let's actually test this out. So let's test um, this function, see if it um, uh, satisfies this thing. So test f of x equals x squared in star. Okay, so the left-hand side equals x squared. The right-hand side equals... Um, equals uh, negative x all squared. And if I expand that, I get x squared. So these two things are equal. 
Okay, so the left hand side equals the right hand side. Okay, so I, I don't remember that straight away. I actually just think about the reflection. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's do odd functions. Okay, so similar here. We talk about a, the function being odd if it has some sort of rotational symmetry about the origin. Okay, what does that mean? Well, it means that if you rotate the page 180 degrees, then the graph, the original graph, remains unchanged. Okay, so let me give you a, 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 um, some insight here. So again, here is some graphs. We've, this time we've got the red graph is sine x, the blue graph is x squared, and the green graph is x cubed. Okay. Okay, so let me flip this around and see what happens. So first of all, um, Watch the, 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 the green graph, okay? Let's say the green graph. If I rotate everything around, whoops, let me bring it back, the green graph is still the same. So this is now the positive y-axis, this is now the positive x-axis. The red graph too hasn't changed. The blue graph has changed, it's upside down. So what does that mean? It means that two of these graphs or the curves or the functions associated with them are odd and one of them's not odd. Okay, so sine x is odd, x cubed is odd, x squared is not odd. Okay, so back over here, this one y of x equals x is not even. Okay, but these two are even in this in this graph. Okay, so once again there is a little algebraic condition that you can check. So, um, you know, for example, if you put in um, uh, x cubed in here, then both sides would be equal. Okay, so let me just reiterate here. With even functions, you've got a line of symmetry, a line of reflection, I guess, in the y-axis. With odd functions, if you say graph the, the function and spin it 180 degrees, the graph doesn't change, okay? There are also algebraic ways of talking about odd and even functions. So you can see here, let me just bring that down. Yeah, you can see here, the only difference between the two is this negative sign at the front. Okay. All right, so there are a couple of important properties for odd and even functions. So let me talk about that for a second. The product of two even functions is an even function. The product of two odd functions is an even function. And the product of an odd and even function gives an odd function. So what, why is that important? Well, suppose I was, um, I don't know, dealing with x sine x. Now x is an odd function and sine x is an odd function. So if we look at this part here, we can see, well, the graph of x times sine x should be an even function. Okay, so we're talking about functions here, not numbers. Okay, so don't get this, don't get confused with um, with odd and even numbers here. Okay. All right. So, um, what? Why is this true? Well, let me let me give you um, an example in a second. We can also talk about quotients, right? We can say, uh, well, you know, the quotient of two even functions is an even function. The quotient of two odd functions is an even function, and the quotient of an odd and even function 
gives you an odd function. So it's essentially the, the, the same as the products, so you really only have to remember one of them. Okay, but, but why is it true? Okay, well, let's, I'll just prove the first one here. Okay, so let's call that star, and um, let's actually get a little bit of insight into why that's true. So if, say, um, F and G are two even functions, then let's um, define g of x to be their product. And what we want to show here is that g of x equals, uh, sorry, h, let's go h, because we've already used g. And we're going to show that h of x equals h of negative x. All right, so let's re replace this with this and this with this. And that is just h of negative x. Okay? So you can do it similarly with the other ones as well. Okay. So let's do a quick example and see if we can put all this together. So we've got two functions here, x squared and sin x. Which functions are odd and which functions are even? Well, let's have a look. Then th th there's a second part of the question. Look at these, these products and quotients. Okay, so I guess the first part is x squared. x squared, well, it looks like a big u which is reflected in the y-axis. So, you know, this is a bit like graph of the function, so um, it's an even function, okay? Now, the graph of sine of x Looks like this. You can see again. I've got that that symmetry in the in the y-axis. Okay, not a great drawing, but again, uh, g of x. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. Well, I made a mistake there, right? I was just about to say that this is this is an even function. It's not. If you flip the graph, you get the same graph, okay, you rotate it 180 degrees, so sine x is odd, not even, so we've got one even, one odd, we're going to multiply and divide, so an even an odd function gives an odd function, okay, so let's look at the last part of this question, so it's even times odd, that gives a, an odd function. So we have x squared sine x is odd. And the last one, since even Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. I guess odd divided by even equals odd. We have sine x over x squared is odd. Okay. So let's just highlight that. So there and there, there and 
there. Okay, so that's a, a quick, simple way of applying those little laws. Um, in some of the other videos, I'll do some more examples. Okay, now a good question here is wh why? Why would you want to know that? Well, let's say you wanted to sketch the the graph of x squared sine x, right? Well, and we 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 worked out that the actual thing was the the product is odd. So to sketch the full graph, all you would need is half the graph, and then you just rotate it. Same if you had an even function. All you really need is half the graph, and then you just reflect it okay so this can save you time and also from a calculus point of view this is really important when we end up doing integration of odd and even functions and i'll do some videos on that as well anyway guys um it's great to be back i hope you enjoyed the um the live stream if you have any comments any questions uh just put them in the comment section and i will see you again soon thanks guys bye